Right, the 24 is back, and for this episode, we have come to a little day ticket lake, not too far from my house. It's a venue that my friends, or some of my friends, have been visiting over the last year, 18 months, and they've caught some really nice carp from here. Carp that I would dearly love to catch myself. Let's do this. Although this is a small lake, it does present a unique set of challenges. It's very weedy, it's very snaggy, it's quite broken up, a lot of the surface is covered in weed, which makes finding carp quite difficult. And on top of that, there is a low stock of fish in here. Right, there we go. Black as your hat. And that is exactly what I wanted to catch from this place. A black carp, that's all I came here for. That's exactly what I've got. Old fish as well, these, you can just tell. Right. The 24 is back, and for this episode, we have come to a little day ticket lake, not too far from my house. It's a venue that my friends, or some of my friends, have been visiting over the last year, 18 months, and they've caught some really nice carp from here. Carp that I would dearly love to catch myself. So, before I do anything else, I need to get my gear out of the car, of course. Time is of the essence with this kind of film. We've got 24 hours to catch a carp, and I'm praying that I'll do so. Like I just said, there's some beautiful carp in there, and uh, the sooner I can get to that lake, the better. We've also got a new addition to the 24 series, a little stopwatch. As you know, this is all about timing. So the first thing I need to do, now that I've pulled my car up in the car park, is press go on this little bad boy. Let's do this. Right, from what I'm told, I've got quite a slog to get to the lake that I want to be at. But, what I'm also told is, once you get there, it is very much worth it. So, off I trundle on this big gravity track in search of the lake. Well, first impressions of the complex, a rather cool place. Lakes absolutely everywhere. They're small, they're snaggy, and everywhere you look as you walk up that central path, left and right you've got water, you've got island, you know, it is carp fish in heaven. But right at the top of the track, and it is a long track, is a lake that I'm gonna be spending just shy of the next 24 hours at. As I stand here now, and look left, and look right, it's epic. What a cool little lake. It looks like a venue that time forgot. It is covered in weed, there's snags all over the place, the water's crystal clear, and there are carp's backs breaking the surface out here in what looks to be the central body of the lake. I've not even had a proper look round yet, um, so that's a really good sign. The sun is out now, as you can see, the jump has gone, and I cannot wait to get stuck into this place. It looks bloody cool. Right, first things first. I'm gonna get my mixers out, because it is boiling. Broken bucket lid, never makes it easy, does it? I've got loads in here. Well, I say loads, I've got enough, I hope. I've got my little floater pouch and some oil, which I don't really think I'm gonna need, because it's not that windy. We'll see. Come around to the opposite side of the lake. The glare here is massively reduced and I can see a lot better. And there is a few fish just out there, just past the weed. And just beyond the weed. I'm just gonna trickle a few mixers. I'll probably go around the whole lake putting them out. It's only a small lake, so. Put them everywhere and hope for them birds stay away. Well, I've put a pouch out. This fish is troughing them. He come through, clocked them. Yeah, look at him, he's battering them. <laughs> right, time to get a rod. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, that might have been a roach. Anyway, there's a carp feeding, that's for certain.
Although this is a small lake, it does present a unique set of challenges. It's very weedy, it's very snaggy, it's quite broken up, a lot of the surface is covered in weed which makes finding carp quite difficult and on top of that there is a low stock of fish in here. I'm not sure exactly how few there is but I would estimate somewhere around 50 carp being the maximum. So not a lot of carp but plenty of places for them to hide. Unfortunately, although that carp was very aggressively feeding to begin with, it didn't last very long at all. I would say 10, 15 seconds, it probably ate upwards of nine, 10 mixers, and that was about it. Fish drifted off, I ran around to get my rod anyway, as you can imagine, I was keen to have a rig ready to cast out. Card and all sin is not to have a floater rod ready to cast when you start baiting. I've done it so many times over the years, I always make the same mistake. You put your mixers out, your rod's never ready when you actually need it to be. So run around, got the rod sorted, got back round to the swim as soon as possible.